It reminds me of the movie Twister. Y'all know that movie? Like, do you? Because if you know it, like, it's exciting because it's a good movie. Uh, so Twister, all right? So uh, if you haven't seen it, like, spoiler alert ahead, but you've had enough time, okay? It's an old movie. Uh, so there's a guy named Bill and Joe, and they're scientists, and they are hanging out in a cornfield watching an F5 tornado go by them, and they're smiling. Oh, it's so good. Like, you know, a lot of us, like, we take our significant other, our spouse, to a hillside and we watch a, a sunset, they, they go to a cornfield and watch a tornado roll by. <laughs> They're kind of crazy. But they were excited because there was this thing that they were trying to get into a tornado called Dorothy, and Dorothy was going to let go of all these, these little uh, sensors, and it was going to tell them, like, what does a tornado really do? Because they're trying to figure out how it works so they can have better whatever for meteorologists and things. Anyway, they, they had done it. Like, it, it went in, and they were getting all the readings, and they're over here in the cornfield excited for what they're seeing. But then their, their, their happy faces turn to dread because as the tornado's going by them, it takes a turn. It didn't warn them with a turn signal. It just turned and started coming toward them. And so Bill and Joe, they, they turn and run. They run back to the farm where there's barns and all this stuff, and they are running. They are running for their life, and this tornado is barreling down on them. And you see the, the horses are like, ooh, and then they're running, and, and the, the, move, the music is creepy. Like the score on this movie is really good and you're like I need to get up and run too like looking out the windows and stuff trying to make sure that there's no tornado coming after you and they get to this barn they're like there's you know there's cows flying at them there's tractors flying at them and of course they survive it because what good would that be you know they're like oh they're dead in the, in the movie <laughs> so they make it to the barn and uh, they start to look around in the barn and it's not looking good because inside the barn is a bunch of like blades like where they maybe cut the animals. I don't know. You know, I don't know what they do. But like it wasn't going to be a good situation if that tornado reached them because then you got like blades flying around and you just, I don't think that would work out. So they, they got out of the barn and they started running some more and they, they found a little shed. And I don't know what made them go to the shed. I mean, it just had some walls and it wasn't going to survive very long. But they, they get in this shed and, and they're like, oh, look, conveniently right in the shed are irrigation pipes. And they go down, Bill's like, oh, you know, like, we, this, this could work because these go down 30 feet into the ground. We might have a chance. There's a glimmer of hope. And, and conveniently on the wall were some leather straps. So they grab the leather straps and, you know, they're, and they tie themselves in. Bill gets it. And then right as he straps himself in, the tornado comes and boom, you know, like the, the shed's gone. And they're like hovering, uh, anchored down to these irrigation pipes that are, 30 feet into the ground and they're surviving. I don't know how, like one of the cows didn't come and hit them or something, you know, but like all the debris, but they survived and it was a good moment. They're like, they look up and they're inside of the inner thing of the tornado, whatever that's called. And they're like, this is amazing. And they, they were divorced beforehand and uh, they survived this moment and they look at each other after the tornado's gone and they're like, I love you, you know, and they, and they get back together because like, if, uh, if, if, if you have a moment like that with your ex, maybe that's a sign that y'all should be back together again, right? I mean, that's pretty epic. Now, here's, here's the reason I bring that up. This is a great scene. Y'all should go watch Twister. I think sometimes in life we are, you know, we're in the cornfield and we're watching what's happening in, in the world. And sometimes, like, we're looking at someone else's storms like, oh, man, that's, I kind of smile, but it's like, oh. And we're watching disaster come and then it comes toward us and we do the thing like we we start to run right like we run for refuge because the storm is coming after us and then we find ourselves in a barn full of blades but we don't look around enough to actually see the place that we are staking our hope in like maybe that maybe we'll survive on inside this wooden barn full of blades and too many of us I think throughout life we get into places like that like this is where my hope is we're gonna survive and yet we don't look around and see all the blades that are hovering over our heads ready to destroy us in the as soon as that storm gets to us like some of us like we are hanging out there hoping that it will work out there but I think what, 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 what the Hebrew writer is saying, hey, you, you fled for refuge. You got to that shed. You attached yourself to those irrigation pipes. You are anchored into the, into, the, into the ground so that 
when the storm does come, the thing you're anchored to is gonna be stronger than the storm you're in. So that when it's all said and done, you can look around and you have survived. And the sun comes out and things are back to normal again. Maybe what he's trying to say is that their hope, if they leave Jesus, they're, they're, they're settling for the barn with blades. But with Jesus, it just may be that they ha could have a hope that is anchored because he says in verse 19, we have this hope as an anchor for the soul, firm and secure. 